Wow, I'm getting lucky here. <laughs> About 20 minutes away from my friend's house and come across this beauty here. I, see, I saw this like five years ago coming back from the Twin Cities um, and I never stopped. I kind of made a mental bookmark in my head as to where it was, but um, I never came back. So, oh, well, that looks crazy, 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 crazy. So, yeah, let's get inside here and see what it looks like. And when I drove through here last time, it was winter and I could see the house just fine. Um, but today when I drove by, I couldn't see anything hardly, but I saw this big grove of trees, so I turned around about two miles down and came back. And uh, wow, huge. Okay, let's get inside. You can probably tell I'm by a main road, all the traffic. But. Ooh, yeah. A lot of water damage here. You can tell that we're by a main road. There's graffiti, which is a rarity in places I explore. This looks like a paver floor here. So, <laughs> try to sneak around the water damage. Just by one of the first things, I'm gonna guess that you know it was an elderly person, maybe with an injury. That's what I'm thinking. As far as I can see here, nothing is updated. Um, so I like this paneling. It looks more realistic and rustic. Piano. The ceiling paneling looks nice. Hmm. I don't know when fluorescent lights became popular, but it had to at least be the 80s. When someone was last living here. There's some tall windows, like six foot windows. Disposable silverware and cups I've noticed so far. Looks like they had some sort of maybe a wash tub in here. Could have been a countertop right here it looks like. I don't know. Really old toaster. <laughs> some jars up there. Hmm. to find a newspaper or 
some mail. Alright, so here is the bathroom. Right in front of the sink. Quad outlet up there. <laughs> And they just have the curtain in front of the stuff on the shelves there. Not another rod going around here. So, huh. And there's no shower head either. There's a little pipe coming out of the wall there. That could have been something, but... Got that cheap shower paneling. That stuff's buckling out from the wall. Here's the back door. <laughs> Not much left. Lots of tires and probably just a little porch or something. here on the ground. What kind of stuff did they have on hand? Here's a phone book. There's always a date on the phone books. 1996-1997. So, it's later than I thought someone living here, but, oof, this floor is kind of sunken in the center, high ceilings, piano's kind of ripped apart, I bet when this place was originally abandoned it was pretty, uh, cool to see, but there's so much vandalism and just you can tell a lot of people have been in here and because there is a lot of stuff. Um, boots and you know furniture and papers, like some piano music here and but darn vandals. sun comes through the trees like this and it just kind of sparkles, ripples, flickers. <laughs> Can't find the right word. There's a lot of music here. Banjo chords. So they must have you know, played a variety of instruments here. Maybe upstairs is better. of Baldwin. Hmm. Well, there's plenty of stuff, it's just trashed, which sucks. Lots of mittens and 
This is a big window. Holy cow. Let's see, it's probably stretch my arms out here. Hard to tell on camera, but it's a good like four and a half feet wide by like six feet tall. <laughs> Imagine that single pane glass, you know, trying to keep the house warm. Crazy. feel good with the breeze coming through the house but there's quite a bit of stuff up here Oh yeah. Wow. Huh. Lots of clothes. Lots and lots of clothes. I see the steps to the attic. Alright. This room first, I guess. Goes right through to the other room. The connecting closet here. Huh. Lots of clothes. Hmm. Lots and lots of clothes. See a bunch of kid shoes. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find amongst the piles. a lot of stamps on there. <laughs> Crazy. Looks like we got a, oh, a leak up there. The house is really solid otherwise. Let's see the magazine here. sacrifice and cannibalism in the Andes. Alright. Lots of shoes, lots of boots. Let's see. Lots of VHS tapes. Home recordings. Hmm. Yeah. Just a, uh, a dead end hallway, kind of, with the chimney and a window, and that's it. This is a huge room. Huge. Shoes. Jordash. Kids' shoes. Hmm. Oh. Open air up there. Coming down in here. Not good. look out those windows up above here. So you had ceiling forced air vents here which is strange to me. And I can see the ductwork inside there. So 
they must have done a big update to this house, you know, as far as heating and co or heating goes. But um, I guess we'll see in the basement. But um, yeah, that's really weird. The seal, I, you know, I would expect floor vents or something like that, but not from up above. So I guess we'll have to see. Ooh, yeah. Goes up and turns. Hmm. This room slopes in the middle here. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Which is funny because there's no water damage from up above. Um, so it's weird that it's leaning towards the middle. So they obviously had kids. There's a lot of kids' shoes around here. I mean, it could have been the grandparents, and you know they had a room for the grandkids and whatever. But it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see, Kickstart Gym. Hmm. It's always kind of hard to tell. Let's. See. Transportation, something from the steel mill. Um, let's see. What do? Let's see. There's a lot of those papers on the floor here for shipping. So I don't know if he could have been a trucker or just. Had a bunch of stuff delivered, I don't know. <laughs> world Records, the grossest book of world records. Hmm. Nothing in the closet. Hmm. Curling irons, a lot of kids' books. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, here's another freight invoice. Okay. From Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Metal. Um, huh. It says two coils, the weight 47,000 pounds, seven a mile, collect 592.78. Huh. Well, I suppose you should go up here. Getting to be a long video, kind of, huh? Holy cow! There is a lot of stuff up here. Oh. Who has so many clothes? Look at this. This is crazy. out the upper window There's the car pretty far up here the wind is just howling through oh my goodness it's a thick layer of clothes check out the chimney angled to go out the center this is just crazy uh, it's hard to even know what to look at. That side has the same windows as this side. Got 
a croquet set, some dolls, waffle maker, kids potty chair, bug zapper box. Helmet. All sorts of stuff. Box spring. Um, let's see here. Back. I wonder what was there. That's like a hole. And there's this going up. Huh. Bunch of blinds. Beanbag chair. Anything else interesting? It's cool to have the same windows on all four sides. Um, that's very neat. Got some sunglasses here. <laughs> Jeez. Radio. Wow. Oh, jam packed full. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. Master Christmas lights, some books, geez, fire safe, bed frame, all sorts of spots to hang things. Oh, just crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, I think I'm going to. Take some still photos here and then get out of here. Um, I will give you guys a little outro clip once I'm done taking pictures here. So. I almost forgot the basement. I forget that. Jeez. These are the stairs that I always worry about because you know this basement probably floods every year and oh jeez. Double check for animals. So I saw another phone book upstairs that said 97, 98. So this basement doesn't look too bad at all. So let's see what so you had your workbench, all your paint products. softener, pressure tank, oh there's the outdoor entrance there, the ceiling height gets lower over here, <laughs> squatting down, hmm, so, sorry for the camera work here, I got two fuel oil tanks down here and then it goes oh yeah this whole concrete uh, floor is all messed up holy cow it comes up and over over here <laughs> crazy so on this side got a water heater a couple more Looks like an old furnace and then this heater here. Um, got the main drain there. Huh. Let's see. 
nice wide door. So, so it did have some decorative um, details. It's all collapsed. Oh yeah, siding is gone on this side. That whole porch is gone there. Huh. Oof. So you got the power wires there coming down. Let's see right there. Run somewhere up high over there. Yep. One of the outbuildings. There's a set of monkey bars right there. You can see them. And huh. hard to get a good picture, but it's a huge house. Very nice house. So. picture from this uh, angle, I guess. And we might as well take a look in the garage just to get an idea. Got the uh, diamond kind of windows. Press forward siding. So this was a later addition. Oh yeah, that side's falling apart, almost gone. Huh. Chest freezer, some bikes. TV and toilet here. Yep. I'm gonna get out of here now, I think. This was a surprise for sure. I didn't expect to stop anywhere so yeah successful trip now two houses so pretty neat but uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for coming along